Storm Tracker weather starts now with Jason Laird. Good morning, everybody, and happy Thursday. Well, we got a lot going on here today, so let's get right into it. Uh, the biggest thing is we got a cold front dropping in here today. It's already starting to make its way into northwestern Montana. As that cold front makes its way across the state, the wind is going to ramp up significantly today, and it's also going to keep those temperatures a little bit on the cooler side. So high wind warning for the dark yellow region there and the brown region. Again, that is going to be a lake wind advisory. High wind warning telling us uh, we could see wind gusts in that area up to 80 miles per hour. Hour. On average, the wind gusts will be about 60 with those strong winds and very low humidity levels. The National Weather Service does have a fire weather warning going into effect this afternoon as well for pretty much all of Montana there. Everything uh, east of the divide daytime temperatures again are going to remain a little bit cooler today due to the passage of that cold front 68 degrees in Great Falls, 66 in the capital. We'll see a couple of 80s try to hang on there into south central and eastern Montana. Here's a look at the timing of that cold front. That cold front's going to be knocking at our doorstep right around the noon hour. And again, what we're looking at here is sustained winds, not wind gusts. So we're going to see sustained winds at about 25 to 30 miles per hour. So that tells us obviously wind gusts are going to be substantially more than that could even get up to about 35 miles per hour sustained. The strongest wind gusts are expected along the high line and the immediate vicinity of the Rocky Mountain front as that cold front settles in here today. So very, very windy day on tap and again, very high fire danger. Overnight lows are going to stay a little bit on the cooler side following that cold front. More on track with average 45 in Great Falls, 45 in the capital, a couple of higher 40s into northeastern Montana. Then on Friday, that cold front will continue to exit the region. We'll have a little bit better chance of seeing some rain on Friday into Saturday. The reason behind that another cold front is going to be moving in that again, holding back temperatures, increasing the cloud cover and also going to kick off some showers once again, primarily over the mountains. However, Friday into Saturday, we'll have a better chance of a few of those showers making their way into central Montana there. But again, most of which will stay over the mountains. Highs tomorrow pretty much on track with today. 67 in Great Falls, same story for the capital. A couple of low 70s throughout the eastern plains. Then on Saturday, that cold front will continue to exit the region. Some early morning showers not out of the question. Clearing on Saturday, though, as the day plays out as our next ridge of high pressure builds in. So Saturday will be the coolest day following that colder air mass moving in some 50s along the high line low 60s for central Montana also some 50s and 60s into northeastern Montana the big picture then on Sunday into Monday huge high pressure ridge is going to rebuild that will likely get us a little bit above average once again next week so 68 on tap here today best chance of rain late Friday into Saturday morning with the low 60s and then again warmer next weekend or when next week I should say as for the capital here looking at 66 degrees couple of showers hours Friday into Saturday morning and uh, cooler before we get uh, a little bit hot again next week, Shannon. All right.